There is a fifth dimension beyond that which is known to man. It is a dimension as vast as space and as timeless as infinity. It is the middle ground between light and shadow, between science and superstition. And it lies beneath the pit of man's fears and the summit of his knowledge. This is the dimension of imagination, and it is an area which we call the band hall. Enter one Mr. Cox and one Mr. Lorenz, creatures of the 21st century. They put to a test a complicated theory of space-time continuum but they go a step further, or try to. Shortly, they will seek out a moment of the past in a desperate attempt to seek understanding and solace. One of the odd and fanciful functions of an old din building known as the band hall. Hey, Mr. Cox? Yeah? Hey, do you have a second? Kind of busy right now. It'll just take a moment. Is it important? Of course, it's really important. Ah, okay. All right, what's up? I'm having trouble getting into the right mindset this year. I mean, I was in middle school a long, long time ago, and it's hard to put myself back in those shoes. I wish there was some way I could get in that mindset again. You know, remember what it's like to be a middle schooler. Well, why don't we just use the time machine? Of course, the time machine. I don't know why I didn't... Wait, wait. Time machine? Yeah, the time machine. It's a part of Mr. Hernandez's office. Okay, so what you're saying is we can go back in time and we can observe me as a sixth grader. No, no, no. That would be silly. Instead, we use the power of magic and science to transform you into your sixth grade self, and then you can relive the experiences of being a sixth grader. Science. Have you ever used it before? I mean, it sounds dangerous. Perfectly safe. It's been... Well, it's probably safe. Okay, okay, fine. Uh, you convinced me. Let's do it. I'm willing to try anything at this point. Oh yeah, come on. Ta-da! Wow, we've really upped our production values this year. Ah, uh, just get in there. Hmm, let's see, looks like Mr. Hernandez's office to me. You don't really go! Huh? Wait, whoa, what's going on? Ow, that's it. I feel tingly. What's going on? Ah! Woo! Ah! Oh, okay, okay. Woo! Ah! Oh, hold on. Stop! Stop it! You gotta stop. You gotta stop right now. Woo! <coughs> oh! Oh my back! Oh my goodness! Okay. Whoo! I can do this. Let's just uh, get over here and okay. Here. No! Ah! Well, my shirt's still here, but ah, everything else is so crap! In the afternoon, when things slow down, when you're wondering what to do. 
Let's go! Go practice! Nothing brings people together or makes friends so fast as practicing. So call a friend! Practice in the band hall, today! Two band directors, one little, one tiny. Standing at the precipice of a paradoxical outcome, exploring the once known soul, body, and mind, reconfigured, digressed. How will the story end? A story that can only be told in the band hall. Ah! Oh, just stop it, stop it. You're gonna be fine. Here's your folder, go find your locker. Here we go. All right, let's look for a locker. This looks like the right place. Wow, look at all these lockers. Which one's mine? Hmm. Locker 58. Hmm. Over here. Oh no. Hmm. I can do this. Ugh. <sighs> Okay, here we go. Just a little bit more. Ow! Okay. Gotta, gotta, gotta go. Okay. Okay. There we go. Let's see. Okay, I know this instrument. I've played this instrument for like 16 years. So we turn it this way. There we go. Easy. Okay, I have to open it. Ah, this notebook. Get this notebook out of the way here. There we go. Man. Wiggle. Wiggle. There we go. That's perfect. That is perfect. There's another hole there, though. Something else goes there. Where does this go? Yep, just like I thought, a perfect fit. And that's how you put together a trombone. Let's see. <laughs> Ugh, that sounds awful. I have a degree in music. Let's see, maybe I just need some music. Here we go. Hmm. What is this stuff? It's all garbly gook. I forgot how hard I had to practice before this became easy. I think I know what I have to do. Well, I really feel like we all learned a very valuable lesson about working hard. Me too, maybe just one more A. Let's look. Oh my gosh, I am so glad to be back to normal. All right, I think I got it. I think I'm back in the mindset of a beginner. So, we need to take things slow. We need to be patient. We need to work really hard, and then we'll be able to become great. That's what we have to do. We can do that. 
Also, I need to make sure I don't assign the little guys and girls the top locker. I'll be careful about that. I'm just glad everything's back to normal. Mr. Cox, I could not have done it without you. Thanks for your help. And so ends this existential journey of time and discovery. Join us again, will you? Here in the band hall. I'm Mr. Hernandez. And I'm Mr. Lawrence. We hope you have the best year ever. And so ends this. Ex oh, yeah. Okay, that was a thing you had. Just, okay. Hey, what's going on? This is about how loud I'm going to talk. I'm a pretty loud guy, and so this is it. It's perfectly safe, probably. No, no, it's it's perfectly safe. It's been written out on a chalkboard. Oh no, no, no. It's totally safe and if it's not, we have a first aid kit. No, no, it's super safe. It's been tested on animals and they're, they're fine. They're... Don't test things on animals, that's bad. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it'll be perfectly safe, and besides, you're insured. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's a. Uh... Hey, don't open it for your face. What yeah. in the world? My hands are so squishy. And shove your hand out. Sorry. <laughs> I can't reach my mouth!